Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019. And I've been wanting to get back to you guys about the Wide Leg Pad Challenge because evidently all of you know as much about Instagram as I do. <laughs> now, I've been waiting for the last hour for the lawn people to finish trimming the hedges with their loud, loud hedge, hedge trimmer thing. So they just got through and I thought, okay, it's quiet. I can make this video. Next thing I know, another truck pulls up and the ride lawn mowers go out. So now they're out there on the lawn. So if you hear the mower go by, I'm sorry, but I need to get this video done since I missed the entire weekend and I missed yesterday. You know, my baby Luke came and he brought his parents. And so they were here for two full days and it was so much fun. I just love that baby. But um, fortunately, his parents were here because, you know, if you want to find out something about a computer program these days, you've got to ask the younger generation because none of us know what the heck we're doing. <laughs> so this is about Instagram. Instagram and the Wide Leg Pant Challenge. I made a little sign for you to look at so you can write this down. You're going to need to know this. What's it called? Hashtag. The hashtag is the number sign. Why they call it a hashtag now, I don't know, but anyhow. Um, this is what it's called. It's called Wide Leg Pant Challenge. And that's one pant. This says not pants, no S. So be sure you put Wide Leg Pant. P-A-N-T, not P-A-N-T-S. Wide Leg Pant Challenge. And if you're like me, you're going, Okay, great. Where do I put it? What do I do with it? <laughs> so fortunately, I asked my granddaughter-in-law, I said, do you know how to use Instagram? She said, oh, sure, Grandma. Do you want me to help you? <laughs> so let me show you what you do. Number one, this is my wide leg pants pattern. I don't even have a picture of my own wide leg pants, believe it or not. I did a video of mine, and so I don't have a photo of mine to even put in here, but I'm going to get it this weekend. Um, my pants, I don't know if they're here or there in my other house, but we're going to the other house this weekend. So anyway, this is the pattern I made. Remember, always look down in the description box under the video for information about numbers or websites or names or whatever. Because all of us who do these videos, uh, all the ones I know, put the information down in the description box, okay? So my pattern, 6384 new look. I've made two of them so far, okay? Now, I would also like you to notice that this is not a cell phone. This is not an iPad. This is my laptop. Several people told me that you could not get Instagram on a laptop, that you had to have a mobile device. Now, I mean, this is a mobile device to me. I can take it in the car. <laughs> no internet, though. I'm going to show you what to do with this hashtag, okay? You have to have Instagram. I don't know if you have to have your own Instagram. I think you do. I think you have to put this on your own Instagram. So you're going to have to have your own. No big deal. Just download the little app, which is free, and then you'll have your own Instagram, okay? <laughs> Okay, this is take three. Every time I think it's gonna be quiet with the yard people and I start to talk to you guys, they decide to come up here and re-blow under the garden or something. I don't know what the heck they're doing. <laughs> and yeah, is it the third time that's the charm? <laughs> we shall see. All right, this is my Dell laptop. It is not a cell phone. So if anybody tells you it's only for the phone, that is not correct. Okay? I'm going to go to Instagram right here. I downloaded the app. And so here is its icon, and they put it on this, whatever this thing is where all your icons are. So I'm going to go to Instagram. All right. Every single time I come here, Somebody else's Instagram pops up. That's a video. It says real Donald Trump. Oh, there's a video. I don't know why this guy's climbing a pole. Anyway, that's not me. 
So if I want to go to me, I come down here to this little person icon and I click on it. All right, now I'm in my Instagram instead of the man climbing the pole Instagram, okay? So let's say I want to put a picture of me in my Instagram and then I want to put that hashtag on it, okay? So let's find a picture. In order to find a picture, you click on this little plus down here. It's right in the middle. There's a house, there's a looking glass, there's a plus sign, there's a heart, and there's a person. If you want to add a picture, you come to the plus sign. Click on the plus sign. Then, this is some goofy looking pictures I took the first night that I uploaded this and I can't get rid of them. This, this, what do you call this thing, laptop, has the dumbest location for the camera. It's right down here. So every time you take a picture, it takes a picture underneath you. So they're all horrible. So if you don't want to use those pictures, a picture, if you have a decent camera up here and you can take a pretty picture of you in your pants, hey, go for it. But I can't. So I'm going to go to camera roll. I had no idea what camera roll meant. And somebody said, well, that's where you go to find your pictures. I'm like, oh, okay. So come to camera roll. Now, I want to get a picture right here of me in that thing I put the fringe on the other day, okay? We'll use it. That's just me standing in the mirror taking a picture of myself. So I want to add that, okay? So I found a picture that I want to use. Um, you click on this little doohickey in the corner, and I think it gives you... Uh, I don't know what it gives you. That gives me a whole bunch of pictures in that file. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. That just helps you find a picture. Let's click Next. Now, here's what I thought that was going to do. Down here are a whole bunch of filters. I don't know why you would want one of these or if you would want... There's black and white. That's kind of cool. They're just... They do things to your picture. But since I had that on with something it absolutely didn't go with, I'm not keeping this picture. I'm just showing you how to get a picture, okay? But anyway, those are all the filters if you want to put a filter on it. This very first one is called Normal. I'm leaving mine on Normal. Okay, then I'm going to click Next. I want to go to the part where it lets me type something in a box. There's a place under the picture, I think, and I think there's a place on top of the picture. Let's see. Yes. Right here it says, write a caption, okay? Now, you can put pink jacket, you can put fringe jacket, you can put pink jacket with fringe, you could put something I made, you can put all of those things there. I don't know if they need to have commas between them or spaces between them, I've been putting commas. But you want to make sure that you put right there where it says write a caption, this. Hashtag wide leg pant challenge. You want to make sure you put that there or in the description box under the picture. I don't see a description box under the picture, so we're going to put it up here in the caption. And we're going to write, <clears throat> let me turn this so I can type, pound sign. Oh, and you have to make sure you're there. Why won't it stay? Stay. Hello. Pound, it won't let me type. I've had this happen a few times. Let me double click. Pound sign. Okay, you got to double click in the caption box. Wide leg pant challenge. Okay? Wide leg pant challenge. I put that in the caption. It's going to look really dumb in there since it's a wide leg jacket. <laughs> a wide body jacket. But I'm just showing you. So here we've got the caption. And now we're going to click OK. And see what happens there. Instagram is not very user friendly and half the time the clicks don't work. So just keep clicking till it does. All right. Now it says share. Now when I first started using this, I thought I don't want to share this with anybody. It's an ugly picture. I don't want anybody to see it. I don't want to share it. Well, you can't share it with yourself unless you click share. So when you click share, it shares it with your Instagram. <laughs> oh. I wish they'd let a woman figure out how to make this work a whole lot better. Okay, so there it is. Now, 
it takes a while in my case for the picture to upload there it just happened there it is right there so there's that picture and it's in there and let me see if I click on the little person that takes me to my account. There it is. There's the jacket picture that I just added. All right, now you're saying, well, what about the, the hashtag? To find it with the hashtag, you could have put a picture in yours. Viv could have put a picture in hers. Anybody in the whole wide world that puts a picture in their Instagram, this is Bernhardt Joy, with the hashtag, Wide Leg Pant Challenge, you want to go to the Wide Leg Pant Challenge place, location, whatever, where this picture's going to be and this picture's going to be because I put that hashtag on both of those pictures. So we're going to come down here. I thought you clicked on that little person right there, but that doesn't do anything. So don't, don't click on anything up there. Come down here to the little looking glass. Click on the looking glass. Up here in the search bar, double click and wait. It won't let you type yet. You have to wait. I think you have to have a little line there. Yeah, now I've got the line there. So now I'm going to type hashtag wide leg pant challenge. When I type that in that search box, it came up over here. Why it comes up over here, I don't know, but evidently you can't just go there from there, so you have to come over here, and then you click on this, and guess what? Ta-da! There is my pink jacket. There's Viv's pants, and there's, I think her name is Sarah, her really cute striped pants. Okay? So, first you put your picture, then you label your picture. <laughs> And then it will be in this Wide Leg Pant Challenge where there's now three posts. Now, I need to delete that one. I wonder if I can delete it because it doesn't belong there. Let me see if that can be deleted. Edit, share. Oh, yeah, I saw a delete. Go back. This is very not user-friendly, you guys. Click on that. Hit delete. Let me see if I can make it go away. Delete the post. It calls it a post, not a picture. Okay, so now there's Viv. How do we go back to the main page? Okay, my jacket's gone, and now we just have the two wide leg pants. Okay, so I hope this has helped it be more understandable because I didn't understand it at all. I think it's very non-user friendly, but it is possible, okay? So y'all try. If you get mixed up or you don't know what to do, let me know in the comments and I'll call Lauren and say, oh my gosh, what do we do if this happens or that happens, okay? So let's try that. You remember that the deadline is August 4, 2019. My birthday, I'm going to be 69 years old. That's why I picked that date. just seemed like something I might be able to remember. <laughs> Wide leg pant, no S. Challenge. Instagram. Alrighty, I can't wait to see all your pictures. This is a recap. <laughs> this little video has been so chopped up because of the lawn people, but they have gotten in their vehicles and they have left. Thank God it's quiet here again. Anyway, to recap, I just came up with this in my head. Actually, Viv started it. Viv started by making her darling wide leg pants, and I had already bought the patterns a long time ago to make them, and I just never made them because I thought I'd be the only one on the planet wearing them. So when Viv made a pair, I went, yay, I can make some. <laughs> so then I decided all of you should make some too. And so that's how we came up with this. And then I wanted everybody to post a picture, but I couldn't figure out how to get your pictures all together. So one of you suggested Instagram. So, you know, I got the Instagram. I had no clue what to do with it. A really sweet young man helped me up to a point, but then I was still lost on some of the things that you did. And so, as I said, uh, Lauren helped me the, this past weekend. So, hopefully what I've shown you is understandable. <laughs> but, 
by August 4, that includes on the day August 4, send me via Instagram with this hashtag a picture or pictures of your wide leg pants. I cannot see your picture if you don't put that on it. Even if you tell me you have a picture, um, even if you were to put it in a comment or something, I don't know, there's just some, some way it has, you have to put it on Instagram yourself, okay? So, hopefully there'll be a whole bunch of them. I think it will be so nice. And just last night, July 22nd, Peggy Sagers was on, and she said, number one, style for this fall, 2019, is, guess what? I bet you can guess. <laughs> wide leg pants. Absolutely, wide leg pants. So, I'm going to make some more. They go together so quickly, and they are so super comfortable. So, I highly recommend them. So, hope you guys will play along. I definitely will be giving away something. I don't know what. But what we'll do is we'll get all the pictures together. Hopefully there'll be more than the two are there now. <laughs> we'll get all the pictures together and you all can look at them because you can search that tag and you can go see all of them. And I don't know if I'll number them. Um, I don't for sure don't know how I would do that. You'll just have to choose the picture and um, I don't know, maybe when we get to that point, we'll figure out how to identify what ones you want to say are your favorite, okay? And then whoever gets the most votes, that that's their favorite, I will figure out some kind of surprise to send because maybe it'll be a gift card to Fabric Mart Fabric and you can get some more fabric and make some more wide leg pants. How's that sound? You don't even have to mail one of those, I bet. Okay, I gotta get busy sewing something and I'll be back soon. Y'all, leave me your comments down below and tell me what you think, huh? And I'll be back soon. Bye for now.